In this video, we're going to look at the E14 error on the PXC100 pressure fryer. The E14 is an error code that tells us that the fryer's reaching pressures greater than 14 psi. Our normal operating pressure is 12 psi, so that would tell us something is probably obstructed where the pressure continues to build. So with the E14, what happens when we hit 14 psi, and that is detected by the control board through the pressure transducer, so the control monitors the pressure transducer, if it sees 14 psi, what it's going to do is it's going to open our pressure solenoid over here and allow the fryer to vent until the pressure drops to 11 psi. Then it'll close the pressure solenoid by energizing it. So it's a normally open valve. So this is energized with line voltage. So what we'll have is this cycling of the pressure solenoid. We'll go up to 14 psi. The solenoid de-energizes and vents until we drop to 11 psi. Then the control sees 11, it'll close the solenoid again, energizing it, and we build back up to 14 psi. It's not ideal, it's one of these things that the customer can still cook, but it's a sign that typically our deadweight assembly is obstructed. So it, maybe a service call isn't necessary here. The first thing you'd want to try is over the phone, you can coach the store, the team member at the store, through trying to unclog the deadweight assembly. When this is cool, there's no cook cycle running, the store, the team member, the crew member can unscrew these and pull the deadweight assembly out. There's a good chance this whole deadweight assembly probably will need to be cleaned if their deadweight orifice is obstructed. And so this would need to be cleaned. You can coach them through cleaning that. But then there's a tool in the rear of the fryer. There's this, basically a clean out rod in the rear of the fryer that we can coach the customer through pointing that, looking down in here and finding the orifice. Or if they don't, can't look down in there, just tell them dead center and they can keep trying until they find that. Once they do, they can push the obstruction through by pushing this rod down all the way several times, kind of ream that out a little bit, and then they can clean that out and avoid a service call sometimes. This rod stores right in the back of the fryer in two clips and they put their clean deadweight assembly back in and then can screw these three thumb screws back down. So that's what we can try over the phone. And if the store continues to have issues with this, then the service call that would be necessary is most likely we're going to have to take this panel off and clean out this whole deadweight assembly. So for the service call, I won't get into all of it, but you'd take this whole box apart. Um, and we had a module where we talk about the condensation box and show that, but this box can be taken apart, the orifice can be taken off, and then this tube, you can remove all these compression nuts and clean out the deadweight tube. It's critical on the, all of this plumbing, the deadweight orifice and this deadweight tube, it's critical that all of this is cleaned out to one half inch diameter. We don't, want, we don't want to just have a small opening in this that water can pour through because at that point, the fryer still won't vent fast enough. It has to be open to a half inch diameter and that way the fryer will vent properly and we won't see 14 PSI any longer. If our pressure solenoid is obstructed where it can't properly vent to the steam box, then we may have a situation where our safety relief valve up here starts to blow steam out the back of the fryer. If that happens, that tells us that we're hitting pressures greater than 14 and a half PSI, and we probably have more going on with, also with the solenoid valve, where that would need to be cleaned out as well, or that solenoid valve plumbing up to the steam box would need to be cleaned, because we're not able to vent properly. In any circumstance, if the customer says that they're seeing steam coming out of the safety relief valve, that means that it's a greater issue than just our deadweight tubing obstructed. That would mean that our solenoid valve is also obstructed and no longer able to regulate pressure to the 14 PSI down to 11 PSI. The solenoid valve could be obstructed, so it would need to be taken apart and cleaned. And then also you'd want to check the solenoid plumbing up to the steam box. This would also need to be cleaned. Can't really take this one apart, but we can run a plumbing snake through this. And so you see, no parts are typically required for the service call. 
you can bring a Steambox swap out kit that we talked about when we looked at the Steambox. However, um, aside from that, most of this can just be cleaned or needs to be cleaned and that will resolve the E14.